we start looking at the boards view. We'll go to our tutorial project team boards, and we can see that I already have several requirements going on in this project. From the board view, I can easily see all of my epics in a project by looking at just my epics, or I can go ahead and look at my features, as well as my user stories. If we're looking at one of the parent elements, which would be epic or features, we can see on the features card itself that it shows me how many user stories I've completed of this feature. It also shows me the state, and I can go ahead and make some changes to this work item simply by using the context menu on the card and editing any of the settings here. Let's take a look at our user stories, and we'll talk about a few of those settings that we have available to us on the card. We can see that we can assign it to a different person, or we can change how many hours of effort this work item will require, and again, we can change the state. If we wanted to make test cases for this particular user story, here on the board view is one of the easiest places to find an option to add a test case directly to this work item. We can also add our tasks and bugs here, or simply move it to a new iteration. If we build a new requirement from the board view, we simply have to hit new, new title, and hit enter. And then again, we can go ahead and change some of the settings. Now, as we change some of the settings, we notice that by switching the state, the board view automatically takes your work items and puts them in the appropriate column. So if we were to take this user story and put it as a resolved state, we'll see that our work item now shows up in the resolved column. This is because the board view is meant to easily represent the state of your work items. You don't have to change the state to have these work items move. You can simply drag and drop a work item and it will update the state of that work item. We're also able to use some filters here in the board view, which will allow us to pick only the work items that we want to see assigned to specific individuals, or work items of only certain types, tags from certain iterations or areas, or that have a certain type of parent work item. We can even filter by keyword simply by typing here on the left. The board view also has a few settings that you can change here as well. We can simply go to the gear tab, and here we're able to change anything about the cards that we see in the board view itself. And we can also go ahead and make changes to how we see the board. What are the columns inside of that board, and in which position are those columns? There are many more settings that we can change here, but we won't go into all of those today. To recap, the board view is a visual representation of the states of your work items. You can change the work items themselves, see the epics, features, or user stories, depending on what you choose here, do some filtering, and also add new work items into your backlog.